Good evening. Hey, what's going on, Wesley? How are you? We're going to take a quick picture, okay? Sure. Ready? Three, two, one. Perfect. Awesome. How you doing? Oh, hanging in there, okay? The week felt like a blur, but I occupy myself quite all right. How about you? It's been great. Been a little bit rainy here, but uh, busy as usual, which is always a good thing. Where, um, where are you from by any chance? I'm originally from California, and now I live in the state of Tennessee. Oh, I'm from I'm from Connecticut. It's projected to snow tomorrow, but even though I'm not a big fan of that cold weather, I don't mind it. I, I don't mind it either. I thought um, I remember I met it. I got a chance to watch the American Tale last sun, last Sunday. I've Heard of the name before from childhood, and I had vivid memories of that movie. But I wanted, but I, um, but I downloaded it from iTunes and watched it for what I felt like the first time, and I was quite moved by it. Oh, cool! Thank you so much. It was a, it was a pretty amazing experience. We really, it was a beautiful movie, beautiful story. I was just happy to be a part of it. You're welcome. Well, do you remember what the filming was like? Yeah, I mean, I was super young when we did the first one. I was six years old when we started, and I was eight when we finished. Um, you know, the recording sessions, I was, I was saying to someone before, was awesome for me because I had the opportunity to work with a lot of the other actors, and you don't always get to do that when you're animating, uh, when you're in the recording studio. But I got to work with Madeline Kahn and Dom DeLuise and Christopher Plummer and all these great actors. So it was pretty amazing to have those experiences at such a young age. Oh, cool. I bet it was so much fun. It's, it was super fun. Are you Jewish yourself? Yes. I am. I uh, come from a long line. My family is also from Russia as well. Uh, I was raised as a Protestant Christian, and, my, and I'm Italian Swedish, and my mother's and father's side of the family, respected, respectively. Um, although, uh, um, although Aunt, Aunt Frank's lifetime exists, Although Anne's Frank, Anne Frank's lifetime it took place long after the, the era the, the American tale took place, but I think it's incredibly relevant because because Jewish people have been persecuted for as long as history has been written. That is that is correct. That is a very truthful statement. Right, and to, even back the, even back then and during World War II, America was like a beacon of hope, beacon of hope. And while Babel and his family met, were lucky to immigrate there, and Anne and hers wasn't so lucky, but they tried to brave out the war and the Nazis anyway. Right. Right. I also found her biography and parts of her diary moving. Yeah. No, it was, I've actually been to the house myself in Amsterdam. It was a pretty moving experience. What was it like for you to learn about Anne Frank's life? I mean, like you, I just read the, the stories in school and I just was in Amsterdam. It was actually right after we did Five of Goes West. Uh, I was in Amsterdam and I had the experience. They, they made it into a museum and I got to go walk up and see the confined space that she was actually in during this time. Wow. And uh, it was pretty, it was pretty amazing. That's the museum that I'd love to visit one day before I die. I think I would. I would it. highly recommend it. I think that you'll learn a lot uh, from her stories. If, if you read the book, it'll bring a lot of it to life. It's like, I mean, they've made movies of it, but nothing's going to be like the actual experience. Not, not quite. One That's my, correct. One of my favorite quotes, quotes or lines written by Anne Frank was, regret it, people. Dead people receive more flowers than the living because regret is more powerful than gratitude. And I think that's a powerful element in the American tale when Favelle has seemingly given up hope in parts of it. I agree. I definitely agree. Well, I think our time is running down, Wesley, but it was a really nice to meet you. Enjoy Connecticut and enjoy your snow day tomorrow. Thank you, Philip. Uh, it, was, it was nice to meet you. Merry Christmas, buddy. Take care. You too. Happy Hanukkah. Thanks.